Hello, my name is Ruth Grigg from Dyslexia Services. So I still work with um, students one-to-one -one, and I play games with them, like I said, at least one per session. So I just want to share a few of those games with you. Um, so there are various games you can play and there's a good one called Sight Word Bingo. And so they have boards like this. They have a spinner. They have, here it is, a wheel. And so they spin the wheel like this. So they spin it and they have to read the word that it lands on. So that's landed on of. And then they have to see if it's on their board and identify it if it's on their board. So if it's on the board there, yes, then they put a star on and it's the first person to cover their board. I always play the game with the children. So this is a phase two game and a phase three game on the back. I think you can find further games like this that go up into uh, phase four and five. So. Another thing I use regularly is this game, Pass the Word. So all it is is puzzles and they join them together. They're not hard to join together. This one has got pictures in. So if you're doing first words, it will have um, bird, zebra, fly, dog, fish, etc. So they can make the word, then find the picture. So they make the word by sounds. But I use it for letter patterns. For example, if they were doing the word pit, so I'd ask them to find the sounds p, i, and t. Yeah, very similar to switch it. So I need them to change this to hit. So they're still doing the it sound. So they need to find the sound, the sound, sound. Add that on. They're just changing the first letter. You can get them to change the middle letter or the end letter. So you can do lots of letter patterns with this particular game. I bought two so that I've got more cards. Um, this one, a brilliant grammar game. So I bought a whole box of grammar games. And this is called An Interesting Adventure. So they have to land all the way around, go all the way around. They spin this wheel and they have to identify whether it's a verb, an adverb or an adjective. So if they land on yellow, they're here. They land on yellow, um, they need to go jump over to the yellow and they need to read what it says. He walked quickly through the green undergrowth. They have to identify what the adverb would be here in that sentence. So that's for those that are um, slightly more advanced. Um, of course, they've got adjectives and verbs, and they absolutely love these games. So I've got several of these games. And they really work very well. They keep the children engaged and it teaches them as they are practicing the game, it teaches them about adverbs and verbs, of course. Now, I'm sure there's some more here I have for you. I've got a homemade wheels game here. So this is just a plastic thing you can buy from Amazon. It twiddles around. I put this underneath. Now I can put anything on here. I can put letters, numbers, letter patterns, and they have to go around. If I pick up a word card and identify um, which one it is. So you can write on this as well. If you laminate it, you can write on it, rub it off and reuse it again and again and again. Excellent for spelling and even for maths. Really good for that. Let me see if there's one more I can find for you. I don't think so. Well, there are many, many games I play. A really good one I play with the children is called Swaps. 
So this is swaps. I've got lots of boxes like this and children absolutely love this game. So in this game, there's four sets of sounds they need to identify and they put them into um, suits and you're allowed to swap cards. Um, I wish I could demonstrate for you, but it is a little bit difficult to demonstrate with just me. <laughs> so you would have the pack turned up like this. They would choose a card. They'd be dealt seven cards or eight cards each. They can swap suits with a swap card. So this is an, I've picked up an OU and I might have already had some OU in my, um, in my cards. So then I can put my card on the top. But each time they pick up a card, they need to read it. They need to identify the sounds. They can swap the suits. So it's a really fun game that children love. And they're learning all the time. They're learning to read the sounds, to recognize the sounds and to use them in their general writing. So I thought I'd just share just a few of those games. I hope you found that helpful. Um, I would suggest that you do get games like these to work with your child because they want to work with you. They find it more, it's entertaining, but it's educational and it keeps their attention and teaches them. So add a bit of fun into your child's learning and you'll make some good progress. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please um, give me a like or put a comment and I look forward to seeing you again or hearing from you. Thank you and thank you for listening.